the charged particle is experiencing both electric and magnetic forces or it is also called laplace's law of magnetism yes students recall what is cross field what actually is a velocity selector the importance of laplace's law hello students in my previous session on moving charges i had derived three phenomenal equations i had derived an expression for the radius of the circular path the time period of revolution and frequency of revolution of a charged particle in a circular orbit in my today's session we will learn two beautiful topics the first one called velocity selector and the second one a very important concept very important in view of your examination something called as the biot's savart's law so without taking much time we will creep into today's discussion as i told my first topic of discussion today is something called as velocity selector so before i go deep into this concept before i take you all to the core of this topic i will try to explain the significance of velocity selector what actually is a velocity selector if you remember in one of my previous sessions where i spoke about lorentz force we mentioned something called as a cross the field a very important term in the study of electromagnetism something called as cross the field yes students recall what is cross field sir it was a region of space where we have both electric field and magnetic field very good so a crossed field is a region of space where we had both electric and magnetic field and the nature of the crossed field is electric field and magnetic field are mutually perpendicular to each other so you should know wherever you have a crossed field crossed field in then kari tivi ali electric field matte magnetic field mutually perpendicular agirte now what if a charged particle enters a crossed field naturally electric field will exert some force on the charged particle 
magnetic field will exert some force on the charged particle as an impact the charged particle is thrown out of the crossed field is physically deflected out of the crossed field nodi yes to beautiful agide one the charged particle e reeti adanta crossed field in enter madidre electric force annu anbavisutte magnetic force annu anbavisutte ಹಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ಬಹುದು ಆ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂದ ಎಸಿಎಲ್ ಪಡುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ಡ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ to move without deviation in a crossed field its velocity should take a particular value and what is that value that is what we study in the concept of velocity selector ನೋಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೆಸರೇ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಡಿವಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ಡ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ now if you look at the diagram i have a positively charged plate p and a negatively charged plate q in a certain region of space see in a certain region of space what if i represent magnetic field through in two marks i told the magnetic field is uniform it acts into the plane of the paper and perpendicular to the plane so i have a positively charged plate and a negatively charged plate that is q simple consideration in consider madidini positively charged plate p negatively charged plate q and because of the charges there is an electric field a plate gal mele charge irodrinda there has to be an electric field and what is the direction of the electric field we have studied field lines always start from the positive charges and terminates on the negative charge so here the electric field is set up from the positive plate to the negative plate as shown in the diagram now there is also a magnetic field perpendicular to the electric field so it is a region of space where there is both magnetic fields and electric fields and they are mutually perpendicular to each other and such fields is what we call as crossed fields 
they are mutually perpendicular to each other crossed fields so initially yen and consider madidvi one positive plate ide adna p ant karidvi it has positive charges one negative plate ide adna q ant karidvi and the electric field is set up from the positive plate to the negative plate and there is also a magnetic field which is perpendicular to the electric field illi magnetic field matte electric field mutually perpendicular agide therefore it is a crossed field now i consider a charged particle plus q which enters the crossed field with a velocity b so there is a charged particle plus q so plus q is my charged particle which is entering this crossed field with the velocity b so impact a na bekho there is a charge which moves in a crossed field a charge which is moving with a certain velocity in an electric as well as magnetic field so first the charged particle will experience some electric force and that electric force is given as f equals q into e several times we told electric force acting on a charge in an electric field f equals q into e where q is the magnitude of the charge and e is the strength of the electric field similarly due to the presence of the magnetic field the charged particle should also experience some magnetic force a magnetic field present ide magnetic force na impact to agbekalli so my dear friends what was the expression for magnetic force you studied it was q v b sin theta so the magnetic force which acts on the charged particle q v b sin theta adhe one charge conductor it put idre namu gottu sir b i l sin theta very good since theta is maximum the magnetic force is q v b so the electric force acting on the charged particle f equals q into e magnetic force acting on the charged particle f equals q v b now coming back to my purpose here the charged particle is experiencing both electric and magnetic forces all possibilities that it is thrown out of the crossed field all possibilities that it is deflected out of the crossed field 
I don't want that to happen. I want the charge to move in the crossed field. An equilibrium has to be set up. There has to be a balance. So as I told in the previous session, if there has to be an equilibrium, here, if the charge has to move undeflected in the crossed field, the electric force acting on it should become equal to the magnetic force. Only when the electric force on the charge becomes equal to the magnetic force, it is undeflected in the cross field. So, electric force is Q into E. Magnetic force is QVB. Q and Q gets cancelled. From which we have V equals E divided by B. Here, you have a condition where velocity of the charged particle is the ratio of electric field strength to the magnetic field strength. V equals E divided by B and this is called velocity selector condition. So my dear students, what is velocity selector condition? It is an setup velocity selector condition is a setup to select charged particles. For example, I may have 10 charged particles, 10 charged particles entering a crossed field, out of which only 5 of them have velocity corresponding to E by B. And only 5 of them therefore will move undeflected in the cross field. Therefore, the entire show here, the entire circus here is just to select charged particles whose velocity has the ratio E divided by B. For what? So that they move undeflected, undeviated in a crossed field. And this is what we call velocity selector condition. If you take off 2020 March paper of physics, a two mark numerical is asked based on this expression. Many a times entrance, there is a question based on the velocity selector condition. So you have to be very careful. Yes, it is a very important topic. Now, what is the use of velocity selector? Why should I get a particular velocity through which the charges move undeflected in a crossed field? The first use is that this method is used to determine specific charge. For example, for an electron, E divided by M, specific charge of an electron, the ratio of charge to mass is called specific charge. And this specific charge can be calculated using velocity selector condition. And mass spectroscope, 
what is mass spectroscope it is a device which gives you the mass of subatomic particles protons electrons neutrons and they work on the principle of velocity selector so the two creamed uses important uses of velocity selector is to determine e by m or specific charges and mass spectroscope a device which is used to determine the mass of subatomic particles they work on the principle of velocity selector now going to the next concept this is a very very important concept my dear students the fundamental to understand magnetism very very important law in your exam either for three marks or five marks it is asked so please do concentrate as i teach you all something called biot savart's law or it is also called laplace's law of magnetism so this concept is also called biot savart's law or it is also called laplace's law of magnetism now to begin with i will consider a conductor of irregular shape as you see in the diagram a conductor some conductor of irregular shape from which i am considering only a small portion a b i have not considered the entire conductor nano id conductor and consider martilla i have considered only a small portion of that conductor what i call as a b and a small portion is what i call as current element when i taught you all fields and charges gauss law electric flux i treated something called surface element small portion of the electric field here it is a small portion of the conductor ab and that ab is called as the current element so as shown in the diagram i is the current which flows through that element so i is the current which flows through the element ab and dl d small portion i am not considering the entire length of the element only ab dl represents the length of the current element so i is the current which flows through the element ab and dl is the length of the current element now p is a point at a distance r from the element ab p is some point 
एट अ डिस्टेंस आर फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट ए बी एंड थीटा इज द एंगल बिटवीन द एलिमेंट एंड द लाइन जॉइनिंग द एलिमेंट टू द पॉइंट पी सो सिंपल कंसिडरेशन दी नम अजम्शन small portion of the conductor carrying current ab adane en karudvi current element ant karudvi what is the current flowing through that element i what is the length of that element dl what was p some point at some distance what is r from the element and theta is some angle my dear students the entire movie here is to calculate the magnetic field strength at the point p so the significance of biot's savert's law the importance of laplace's law is to calculate the magnetic field at some distance from a current element one the current element in a swalpa antara dalli magnetic field in calculate maadbekadre ना बयो सैवर्सिकली प्रपोशनल टू वै मैग्नेटिक फील समेंस फ्रॉम दि एलिमेंट is directly proportional to the strength of the current if the current flowing through the element has more strength magnetic field strength is more if the strength of the current is reduced magnetic field strength is reduced so db is proportional to i db is directly proportional to dl what is dl length of the current element if the length is more magnetic field strength is more if the element is of shorter length magnetic field strength is less so db is proportional to dl db is directly proportional to sin theta nodi bari theta alla magnetic field strength is directly proportional to sin theta and the same magnetic field strength is proportional to 1 by r square inversely proportional to the square of the distance so these are the four factors four parameters on which magnetic field strength depends upon what was that db directly proportional to i db directly proportional to dl db directly proportional to sin theta and db proportional to 1 by r square so putting all these factors into a single equation i write db proportional to ideal sin theta by r square skeletal form of laplace's law how do i remember db magnetic field strength is proportional 
ಟು ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟಾ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹಿಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಐ ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟಾ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಪಾಂಡರ್ ಮೈ ರಿಮೆಂಬರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟಾ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ now taking out this proportionality symbol i introduce a constant k so idli sin theta ge yav chutni aagtidivi athwa nimge sambar ishta idra sambar yav sambar k proportionality na tegdu idli sin theta jothe k anno sambar athwa chutni na aagtidini so k is a constant and that constant has the value mu not divided by 4 pi a sambar the value a no mu not by 4 pi the numerical value of mu not you have to remember this wherever i work out problems on this chapter i use this mu not equals 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 the magnitude of mu not mu not by 4 pi alla bari mu not a na gutte 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere and this is called absolute permeability of free space my dear students electric field ge epsilon not barudvi permittivity ant karudvi wherever there is magnetic field it is mu not and it is called absolute permeability dai bittu nen pitkoli electric field ge epsilon not permittivity magnetic field mu not permeability and what is the value of mu not 4 pi into 10 power my 7 so substituting for k db equals mu not by 4 pi ideal sin theta divided by r square and this is what we call as the laplace's law or biot savart's law of magnetism so magnetic field strength at some distance from a current element is always mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square now dear students i need to express this in vector form so in vector form db vector db is mu naught by 4 pi mu naught by 4 pi is a number adu on scalar agirodrinda adakke yav vector form illa I current, I told earlier, in spite of having magnitude, in spite of having direction, current is a scalar. Why? Yes, it does not obey the laws of vector addition. So, dB equals mu naught by 4 pi i is a scalar i take out now dl sin theta so vector dl whenever you have sin theta it is a component of cross product expansion a cross b sin theta idre it means it is cross product expansion so into r cap why have i considered r cap unit vector 
magnitude is 1, still this equation is unaltered. Vector no introduce maadidini, the equation is still unaltered divided by r square. Now what is the magnitude of r cap? How do you write r cap? So it is vector r divided by magnitude of vector r or vector db is mu naught by 4 pi i vector dl into r cap divided by you have an r square and r r cube and this is what we call as the vector form of Laplace's law. So in my today's session students we have learnt very important concepts. We have learnt the velocity selector condition to select velocity of charged particles to move undeflected in a magnetic field. We learnt Biot-Savart's law, insignificance, it gives the strength of the magnetic field at some distance from the current element. What was the expression? Mu naught by 4 pi idli sin theta by r square. And we also expressed Biot-Savart's law in vector form. Next session, I will be doing a very important derivation completely based on Biot-Savart's law. Please do recall, come prepared for that session. Until then, take care. Thank you.